Welcome to Fisher Toolbox Talk Training. In this session, we will be demonstrating correct installation of frame fixings, SXRL and SXR. High-performance nylon frame fixing SXRL are truly universal fixing, approved for cracked and non-cracked concrete, also M10 hollow floor slabs, and over 36 different masonry materials, including problematic substrates such as perforated blocks or aircrete. It has ETA approval for multiple use, non-structural applications. It also has DIBT approval for single point applications in concrete. Thanks to its well-designed and long expansion zone, it offers very competitive permissible loads. Thanks to three different embedment depths, users have freedom to value engineer their application to suit the load requirement. Either shallow 50 mm embedment depths, which will offer you savings on installation, less drilling, or alternatively, if you have, for example, challenging substrates, you can specify deeper embedment depth, 70 or 90 mm, depends what load is required. Range is very comprehensive, from 6 mm up to 14 mm diameter, with maximum overall length up to 360 mm in largest diameter. Screws can be zinc plated or stainless steel, and SXR is also available in hot dip galvanized. The product is available in two different head types, countersunk, so that is good for, for example, fixing timber, or hexagonal head with built-in integral washer. And hexagonal head has also a very good feature, built-in collar, which will eliminate any risk of bimetallic corrosion between two metal surfaces. SXRL also benefits from a 90 minutes fire resistance classification. So before any installation, make sure you have correct anchor as specified for your job. Check you have correct anchor links, depending on your fixture, because also you need to double check how thick is your fixture, in this case timber. So you need to make sure you have the specified embedment depth achieved. And if you are using any packing, which are very common, for example, when you are fixing green screen brackets, you might have shims packing. So make sure that is added to your fixture thickness. So you are not reducing specified embedment depths because otherwise load would be compromised. So before you start, make sure you have full PPE. And now we are ready to do the installation. So I will be installing 10 by 60 frame fixing. So for that, I will need 10 millimeter PGA mark drill bit, blowout pump, hammer, and then you will need either Torx T40 or you can use 13 mil socket. So the hole is clean and we are ready to install the fixture. So the screw needs to be driven to the plug. We don't need to use um, installation torque for this. We will just drive the screw fully in. Done. For connection like timber buttons, you will be using countersunk version of frame fixing. And then simply you pre-drill the hole through the timber into concrete. I already pre-drill it. And we will be driving the screw in. Done. So quick summary, make sure you have correct fixing as specified, correct diameter and correct lengths, have correct tools and all installation accessories, use PGA mark drill bit and make sure it's not worn, so check the wear marks, drill to the correct diameter and depths, clean a hole, then insert a fixing through the fixture, making sure fixing is installed with specified embedment depths, and tighten the screw until it's flush with the plug element. 
For any further details or assistance, contact Fisher Technical Helpline on 01491 827920, visit our website at www.fisher.co.uk or download Fisher Professional App. Thank you for watching.